Hey what's up guys in today's video I am going to show how to create products through REST admin API in Shopify and in the playlist we are going to cover how to create products order collection and many things through API but before get started let's recap our previous video in the previous video we have created the custom app to get the Shopify SS token for the API authentication and now we are going to use SS token to create products product variants product images and many things through this token so let's get started first of all we have the client libraries of node.js php python ruby and any others we can assess from there and then the authentication system so all the rest admin api queries require a valid shopify sas token which we have created in our previous video and i have stored there as well so they're telling we have to include our token in the header section and then let's talk about endpoint so first of all we have the endpoint there in which we have to change store name and then the api version 2023 and the month is 10th and the resource i mean order product dot json and we have the four request post get put del so definitely post is used to create the data and then we have to get the data and then if we want to update the data then we have to use post and definitely if we want to delete the data then we have to use del and then let's talk about rate limits so we have the 40 request per app per store per minute so if we want to increase the request then we can create the second app so if we have exceeded the limit then 429 error will come it means too many requests and then let's talk about status so these are the api status 401 means unauthorized 402 payment required 403 forbidden 404 definitely not found 422 429 too many requests 5xx we can read by clicking from it and then go to the products so there are few things which we can create collection collect custom collection product product image product variants and then smart collection so first of all let's create a product so now we are going to create a product through REST admin api so this is the endpoint and the request post get put del so we are going to use post to create the products so just click on it and you can get the code cull ruby node.js and php so this is super easy we just have to copy the cull code and then we have to import into our postman so postman is used to test apis and how they work around so let's get imported so you have to paste the code there control v so as you can see we have pasted it our endpoint there so if we go into our body then you can see our json we can beautify it so we can change the request method get post put so we have to use post so now from there we have to change few things so first of all your development store name so if you go to our store then you can see this is the name of our store so you can also get from there so it's the fine gap you have to replace it there so first of all we are going to save it so just push the control s and now we have to mention the request name for example create products and then we can also create our collection shopify fine gap just create it and then save it so it has created the collection there as you can see and then we have the endpoint there create products so after that for the authentication we have to change the headers so we have to change ss token which we have created in our previous video save it and then you have to hit this endpoint but let's see what is our body so this is the json body ra and the type is json so this is the product name product description vendor name product type and the status is draft so we can also put there publish 
save it and then hit this endpoint so it is working so it is giving us the error because the status publish is not valid so we have to change it either active draft or archived so let's give it archive so few things which we have to make sure if api is accepted or not just change it and hit it again so as you can see 202 status which means it is created so this is the response of the product which we just created just paste it there and we can see product id title html product type status tags is empty so we can achieve all things through api like tags and the variants so by default shopify create the variant and this is the option images is empty so let's see uh, in the shopify store so as you can see uh, the product is created there let's edit it and then we can also view it so this is the product title description media is empty because we did not give it anything price is also empty so sku barcode we just created a simple product but now we can also create other things like price sku tax etc so let's go back to the api and this is the api version which is the 202310 which is the stable right now we can also give it there so if you want to upgrade the api then just change these things and also in the api so let's create a product with the variants and let's see so you have to copy this code from there and you have to paste it there just save it first and give it name create product with variants so let's change few things like uh, show people store name and the assess token so let's have a look on body first of all beautify it so this is the variant option below and the option 2 155 and then second one is black 152 so the options name color and the default values black blue so this is the multi-dimensional array and uh, we have to hit this endpoint from there so as you can see product is created and let's see what is the product this one if you go below then you can see color size product variants and the price is empty so let's have a look on front end just click on preview and then you can see variations but the price is empty so let's go back to api again so just click on it and let's see just copy it again and import it and if we go to the body with the sk123 and uh, this is the second variant so this is how we can create the variants with the sku price and the option so after that we are going to get the products just go back there and retrieve a list of products just copy it again paste the endpoint there and let's uh, change the few things like token so if you want to get the products all then we have to remove it so as you can see in the response we have get all products their options and after that if we want to update the product then we can use this endpoint so for the updating we have a required product id which we can get from there we have to get the products then we can get the product id from there so we have paste the id there and then we can update the product easily and same as if we have to delete the product then we have to use product id as well and then if we want to create the product image then we have to click on this api 
and this is the product images endpoint we just have to copy it and paste it there just import it and change the token so all the APIs require the same authentication same token and the store name there so we have to mention their product ID which we can get from there so let's see in the body as well so let's beautify meta fields so this is the image meta fields attachment URL so this is too lengthy what we have so image is created let's have a look on so as you can see we have created the image of the product by this way we can also create the image of the product from this endpoint I mean product endpoint so this is the create endpoint but we have to make sure the images arrays in such a way which will be acceptable by Shopify and the same way we can create the product collection just hit this endpoint and copy it and paste it in the Shopify postman and if you want to import these endpoints into your code then you just have to click on this icon and you can get the code as you want in your language for example if you want to in java javascript c node.js php curl php Oracle, ruby shell c sharp and even you can get the code in python but uh, for the example i can get the code in php curl so just copy it and uh, paste it there so this is a call call and we are going to hit it but the Shopify store name and the token is changed as you can see there so just save it and refresh our local jump so as you can see it has written the product response so if you refresh to the products then you can see the product is created so by this way we can create products collections and product variants and many other things through shopify rest admin api easily so we just use the postman to test the apis and we can also use into our code easily through this way so this is the basic example of how shopify rest admin api work and by this way you can work on shopify products api easily and guys if you find this video useful don't forget to like subscribe and share finally thanks for watching